Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the vanilla Hunger Games plugin. So there's a few plugins similar to this out there. This one is interesting as it keeps the Hunger Games experience very vanilla. You have a few different classes you can choose from and then everyone is put in a brand new world and they have to fight using all the survival items and crafting in normal Minecraft until there is only one person left. So there's not too many commands, it's super easy to set up and there is only a small config file, so let's just jump into it. So all the commands start with forward slash hg and as you can see they are all down here. So what we can do is hg refresh if we've made any changes to the config file. We can do hg create and then hit enter. That's an admin command that's going to load the config and build a brand new world. So it could lag as it mentions in the chat as it's building the whole world. And here we go. So it says the Hunger Games tournament has started. Type HG join to join the blood bar. So HG join, nice and simple with no space. And then as you can see, we are in a lobby world um, and we are waiting for the game to start in about 30 seconds. You can disable this lobby world if you want. And as you can see on the right, there is only one player alive, myself, and we're spectating. So the uh, lobby world has finally loaded in now and you can see there's a countdown on the left side. Tournament will start in four, three, two, one. And here we are. So as you can see, I've got a couple of items. There are classes which we're going to take a look at. Uh, we also have this compass as well. Now, because I was the only one playing, I have technically won and I've been teleported back into the normal Minecraft world. If we look in chat, it says, congratulations to LC Jim for winning the Hunger Games. And it said, I never selected a class. So I got one randomly. It was the ninja class, which is why we got those items. Now we can select different classes by doing HG class. And then we can actually do HG class info. And let's go ahead and choose one such as the gambler and that one gets a random potion effect on every player kill. So if I were to HG join and then HG class, we can choose whichever one and we could select bard if we wanted to. If you force slash HG leave, that's going to quit the game of course. And then you can do HG teleport followed by a player's name. Uh, that only works while in spectator mode if you want to watch someone. And then HG classes is going to give you a list of all the different classes. They all have different abilities. Now that's how it works in game. As you can see, super straightforward and simple, but a fun experience. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and you can see there is a folder which doesn't have anything in it. And then there is the YML file. So if we go into the config, you can see there's only a few things in here. So uh, allow spectating teleporting. Yes. Uh, require an admin to create it initially. Yes. Minimum players start one. You probably want to set this higher as the game automatically ends when there's only one player left. Um, and then the countdown, I reduce this to 30 seconds. Pre-game lobby, that was the bedrock box we were in. So you can disable that if you want. And then do you want to use vanilla items in chess? Yes or no. And then you can add custom spawn items if you want. Now here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated for 1.20. But if we go into update, you can see it also works with 1.21. And if we go back, we can see there is a video on all the different classes and how they work and their abilities. Then we have the command section, which we test out in game. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.